Hey everyone, what's up? Sion Pro Pro here. All right, today I am going to be showing you how to make a trapped chest slash cursed chest. All right, so this one is a trapped chest. This one is a cursed chest, and this one right here gives you two items. Um, go into the database and create two items: trap guard and curse guard. You can set their own price if you want to. You can do all that good stuff. Um, consume, say no, so that way you can't consume it like randomly. At least have that part. Uh, all the other part and the icon, name of it, <laughs> description, all that stuff's up to you. So, I'm gonna open this, uh, these events here. I'm gonna show you how this is all set up. First, we uh, we tell, we say what it is. So this chest it seems to be trapped. Okay, so actually, let me show you what, what it does first. Let me go ahead and show you that. So, uh, okay, here we are. The chest seems to be cursed. Use curse card? Yes, but you don't have any. Would you like to open it anyways? Yes. You become poisoned. And 25 G were found. Now we're poisoned. The trap guard, or the trap chest, if you don't have one, open it anyways, the, you take 25 damage. Or that can obviously be changed to oh, your own liking. <laughs> now if we actually have the uh, trap guard and curse guard. So we have one. You can't consume it. They are here. If you use the curse guard, you can actually completely use it and, well, durr, Craig, durr. No, all right, anyways, so yeah, you use it and it goes away from your inventory. Same with the trap guard. And it prevents you from taking the damage from them. So how this is done is, like I said at the beginning, go ahead and go to the database and create uh, two items, trap guard and curse guard. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the events. So first you have text telling you what it is, whether it's a trap or a curse, and I often would change the uh, colors of the chest to better match. Then we're going to do show choices. If you're confused about any of this right here, you don't know how to do text or show choices, go to Season 2 and watch Episode 14. I explain events there. So we do show choices, uh, use trap guard or nothing. When use trap guard, we have a conditional branch right here. This conditional branch determines whether the item is in the inventory. <laughs> like if you have any or not and if so change items you decrease trap guard by one we put a label here uh, label it a remember do do remember that labels I believe are case sensitive so um, it can be any name you want just make sure that uh, it's actually you know you make sure you type it in again correct so I just use a right here and we're gonna do here's the original chest stuff so you just play the sound effect, you set the chest move route. What I what I did was I just kind of right clicked and made a chest and then cut this part out and pasted it here. It just saves a little time. And here's your item. And here's what the text says. Now I see I have right here jump to label B. So go ahead and do that by right clicking, yeah, jump to label and type capital B. Now else, which means if you don't have any in your inventory, it's gonna ask or it's gonna say you don't have one. Open anyway. You can act, then you do a show choice yes or no. If yes, you take the 25 damage and it jumps to label A, which means it's going to go straight from here all the way to here, and it's going to open the chest anyways, even though you did not select, um, or even though you, the, this condition was not met, it allows you to jump straight to this section. So, and by jumping to label A, all this will finish after you take 25 damage of HP. And if you look here, it jumps to label B, which is at the very bottom. If you didn't do this, then it would like cause some kind of strange reaction that I realize. Um, and since I think it just like jumps straight back down to here, I'm not sure. But I, I know I know it did something when I was practicing this. So make label B at the very bottom and jump to label A here. And at the very end of your collecting item, jump to label B. So it ends. Um, you don't have to worry about the other stuff. Just make sure control cell switch A is here and you have this. Like I said, just right click, make a chest, and then cut out where, and cut and paste where it belongs. The curse chest is the exact same thing, except I just changed the text a little bit and the choices. Use curse guard, and I also changed the conditional branch to determine if the curse guard is in the inventory. And if it is, it takes curse guard out. And instead of damaging the HP, we do uh, change state, the entire party, poison. And that's how this is done. Um, so that's how you can have cursed and or trapped chests. That was way off. What am I? We take 25 damage. 25 G were found. 
<laughs> now we have these, and there you go. It completely removes the... Uh, however, you might want to like change the move around a little bit because now uh, the chest has turned brown. <laughs> but that's because I just copied and pasted the event. And, like uh, This is right here, that's why. So if you just go ahead and do that, now it's going to be green. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I know it's short and I apologize, but... Um, I really hope you guys can, you know, do some creative stuff with the treasure chest. Because there's a lot of really interesting things that you can do. Like with the curses and traps, you can also do... You can do different traps, you know, you can do different curses. It's, it's just a really interesting concept to have in your game. I would really like to see this kind of setup in a game. It'd be really neat. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.